Hi, everyone, and welcome to Guinness World Records. We're live today in Connecticut with Becky Fusco, who, as you might have guessed, is the Guinness World Records title holder for largest collection of hippopotamus-related items. Now, beautiful room, beautiful light, beautiful view, these nice, uh, clean, white cabinets, but you, you haven't even seen the beginning of it, so shall we... Shall we unveil? I'd, unveil? I'd be honored to assist you. Yes. <laughs> so this, this is just the beginning here. Do you mind if I uh, show, just give them a little taste here of okay. the many, Trying to many well-organized. Organize the chaos. <laughs> how did this start? I know that's always probably the question you get asked the most often. How did, you, how did this become a collection versus having a few here or there? It started with one small ugly hippo that uh, was so ugly it turned out to be cute and I thought it <laughs> needed a nice home so I got it from a friend at school and then I um, just kind of noticed that there were cuter hippos around and started getting them for birthdays and Christmas and turned into a collection after about a year and then since then any hippo that I see that I like I try to obtain and it wasn't gonna be a world record by any means until my husband suggested why don't I try to see if there's a world record for hippos. There was no record set yet. I couldn't believe it because there's <laughs> records for everything. Um, but I researched it. There was no record set and so I set up a time for Guinness to come see my collection, numbered everything, cataloged it, and uh, got the record set for 604. And uh, it's, it's still been growing slowly since then. I only uh, purchase my favorites now, or ones I get for gifts. It's not a frenzy. It's not a... No, we can't, <laughs> we can't have them take over the house. They've certainly taken over this room, but <laughs> hopefully it will still be a nice guest room because we want guests to be able to come and stay at the house. So can we come and see? I understand the first one is uh, over here on the shelf. We yes. see the one that started it all. Yes. Again, if you just joined us, this is Becky. She has the largest collection of hippo-related items with 604, which she set last summer. But I'm guessing there's maybe a few more yep. here now. A few, a few more. <laughs> we haven't gone crazy, but there's always, you know, if you see a Christmas hippo, you need it for Christmas. If you see, you know, a toy, I need it for my son. If you see a book, that's just educational, so you have to get it. So. Of course. So the um, one that started it all this ugly one over here. If you look at him long enough, he will be cute. <laughs> He's got the ears. I, I see it, the little tail. Yeah, I never actually named him, but I just call him my lucky hippo, and I've given it to like family members who are going to the hospital, and I used to keep it on my desk when I was taking tests in school, but he never got a name. When I first started collecting, I tried to name all my hippos with H names, and that lasted for about 50 hippos, <laughs> so I couldn't keep that up, unfortunately. Guys, just just get in there. See, I look at this one. It's so little. Yep, that was from a trip to New York when I was younger, and I, that's one of my favorites because he's so tiny. And then this little tiny guy here, too. I'm not sure where, I can't remember where I got him, but I love that little tiny one. And I was a dance teacher for quite a while, too, so I have um, a lot of ballerina hippos. Um, Those are very popular, aren't they? Yeah. I wonder how that came to I, be. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess probably from the movie Fantasia with the dancing hippo. Ah, uh, yes. That would but it just, it. it just caught on. But I guess, you know, hippos are very graceful when they're in the water. I have a book about hippo doing a hippo doing water ballet. They're very graceful when they're in the water, and they can run faster than people, right? Yes, That's yes. Crazy. When they're when they get going on land, they can go pretty fast. <laughs> now we we hear this all the time with with big collections. Is there a single favorite, or is that impossible? It's, it's impossible because there's so many different items. You know, you could have a favorite stuffed hippo, but then I have a favorite hippo book and a favorite wooden hippo and a favorite tiny Her hippo. Type. And, yeah, and then my son's baby clothes. Those were some of my Aww. favorites. Um, they don't have a lot of hippo toddler clothes, so if anybody sees them out there, Keep tag me. Out. Tag me so I can get some hippo toddler clothes now. And I understand you had a hippo themes baby shower. Is that true? I did. That's great. Yeah. My mom and my sister, my two favorite things, hippos and ice cream, they planned me a 
hippo ice cream baby shower and my sister made invitations with the hippo holding an ice cream cone and it was it was beautiful and um my husband's co-worker's daughter even made a cake with the hippo on it and i saved the hippo part of the cake so this is actually not the entire collection this is probably two-thirds of the collection because <laughs> we have a lot of toys um that my son uses his books um and our christmas collection or hippos that go outside on the lawn and our um we have a hippo tree so a lot of ornaments go on the tree and also you know the hippos that i use every day the salt and pepper shakers we have to keep those throughout the house so this is about two-thirds of the collection that were boxed up and i'm happy that they can be out now in a permanent home yes and so much of it like you said is practical it can yeah. be used. Yeah, so I, it was hard when I was trying to set the record to go around the house and remember everything that's hippo. Like, oh, my, you know, my wine bottle yeah. stopper, I have to Just use every that. Day use. My ice cream scoop or my, you know, cheese cutter or something. <laughs> I have to remember to get every hippo item. That was the hardest part of the collection. I even forgot after they left, I found a hippo hat that my son wears. I was like, oh, forgot. So, so 605 at least is what been, we think. Could have been 605. <laughs> Officially 604. Yeah. Again, if you just joined us, we're live in Connecticut today. We're here with Becky Fusco. She's the Guinness World Records title holder for largest collection of hippo-related items. We're just seeing pieces of it here. As she mentioned, much of it is in use in her house. Um, but I understand there's another part of the closet we, yes. haven't, even, we haven't even gotten into. Yes. If you guys have any questions for Becky, send them in the comments. I'm asking her mine, but we want to hear yours too. So if you've got them, send them in. Some of the larger and cuddly hippos in here. Some really soft ones. A little fuzzy one. Check this one out. Oh, also, so fuzzy. my classroom at school has a lot of the collection. My classroom has a lot of the plushy hippo plushies there. So again, this is not the entire collection, but... Just th this, all this is <laughs> yeah. just, just a bit of it. And the drawers, you, you know, if you're a collector, you got to have the drawers. I, I, I think it's an unofficial rule, I'm right? I'm excited because it'll be less dusting, so less, oh, it'll stay nice, nice and uh, dust-free, and then my son can come and explore them. And again, this is a guest room, so hopefully yes. guests will feel comfortable coming and staying. And they have one empty drawer on that side for their things. <laughs> Just need a just need a <laughs> need a moment. All these, all these drawers. Was it difficult to organize them, or did as you got them, did they stay kind of organized? Did they go okay? You go in the plush place, or you go with the figurines? Um, it was hard to plan it out at first because you don't know how much space everything's gonna take. Oh, we oh. have a special guest. I wasn't sure if the camera <laughs> shine. Hi. This is. Johnny, my son, my two-year-old son, and Jim, my husband. Hey, so my husband, who camera. had the idea to go out for the Guinness record, and Johnny, <laughs> who was with me the day that they took the Guinness record, you were 11 months old, mm -hmm. and you went, you were on TV. Yeah, and now you're on Facebook. Can you did say you, hi? Did you tell them hi. about me? <laughs> Did you tell them about your real hippo? Oh, and your I real to... hippo? <laughs> yeah, probably not on me. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite hippo of the collection is probably my real hippo, who I haven't gotten to met, meet yet. But um, in Zimbabwe, she belongs to the, well, doesn't belong to, but she's cared for by the Turgway Hippo Trust. And um, Jim found that program. They, It's a, a woman who basically has taken it upon herself to care for the hippos. There's about 20 or 30. Um, that are along the Turgway rip River, and uh, she also cares for the other animals around there. They're they're wild; they're not fenced in or anything. But um, to get donations to help her care for them, she'll let people adopt animals. And the one that was born near my birthday last year, um, Jim adopted, and I'm the only adopted mother of the hippo. The sole mom. And uh, her name is Becky, named after me. Oh, so. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And I just got pictures of her, so it's kind of like I get updates about Can we Becky, see? Do you hippo. have pictures that She's we can see? on my phone. I didn't print oh, okay. them yet because we don't have good ink. But I, I do see there's right. um, some, some articles and some comics here. Tell us about those. So when 
uh, I was first going out for the record. My husband, again, his idea said, well, contact the local newspaper. The Record Journal is the, our local newspaper. And I said, I don't know if they'll want to do this story. And they were very, very eager to do the story. <laughs> so that's our article. And that's Johnny up there, all my plushies displayed. And I had to organize everything, number all the hippos so that... Um, the people who came to do the official count, which were um, Judy from the Barker Animation Museum in Cheshire, Connecticut. She's uh, an expert on collections. And then um, Jim was from the Beardsley Zoo in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And they came to do the official count for me because I needed two experts mm -hmm. in the field. And um, th I tried to organize them the best I could so that they could go through and count and everything was numbered and um, so that's the record journal article very proud of that and then the comic over here Ripley's believe it or not made a comic about based on the record journal article and I didn't know that they made it and somebody in Florida found the article and um, sent it to the hippopotamus lovers group online which <laughs> does exist it's called hippo lot of us on Facebook Love so it. <laughs> if you are a fellow hippo lover you need to join hippo lot of us shout out to hippo lot of us people <laughs> um, many of them have huge collections larger than mine um, so hopefully they'll go for the Guinness World Record and um, so they found this article on there tagged me and then my husband contacted the artist to get it signed for me. So, very cool. I'm hoping that to get more hippo artwork. That's another thing I yeah. want to be on the lookout for. I like practical hippos now that I can use, and also like hippo artwork that I can display. So it was a, a lot about the stuffed animals when I was younger, the collection. But obviously, it kind of grew out of stuffed animals a little bit. I still love them, but. And if you've got a child, they can play with them. Yes. You know, they can get into it and not uh, not break anything. That's always you know, my they can excuse. get interactive. Yeah. <laughs> I try not to put too many breakable ones out here. Yes, out in reach. <laughs> Again, if you just joined us, we're live in Connecticut today. We're here with Becky Fusco, who's the Guinness World Records title holder for largest collection of hippopotamus related items. So we are just seeing as much of it as we can. It sounds like we maybe have a few questions on there. Uh, one viewer would like to know how many hippo beanie babies do you have? Beanie babies. Oh. Um, well, the Ready beanie babies that. are the tiny ones, the medium sized ones, and the large ones, probably about 10 of them. Okay. Um, a lot of those are repeats because they only really have the purple and the tie dye one, as far as I know. Oh, That's and oh, and the green one here. This, this oh, I like that. Back. This nice pastel. Yeah. I like this I've yellow had, one. It's a few, bright color. A few of these green ones, and I've given them away to um, friends who have babies and things because he's very Aww. soft and cuddly. This one, actually, this gray one's one of my favorites. He's very fun to cuddle. He was from the San Diego Zoo um, mm. two or three three years ago. We went to San Diego, and so his name's Diego. Yes. Do they all have names, or just a select, oh, just a select, select few? few. <laughs> just a select few. Like, this one is Tubbo. <laughs> That's actually the name it's he came nice with, Tubbo. That's a beanie baby, oh, too. I forgot. Oh, ah, yes. And the beans. one of my son's favorites. Um, yeah. I like this one with the open mouth, because I, um, I read that the hippopotamus has the Guinness World Records title for it largest la sense. mouth of a land animal, so it can open its mouth. 180 degrees almost. It's mm -hmm. just just open, just completely wide. Just to threaten other yes, people. Yes, the gape. The great gape. My, my students at school love reading the Guinness World Records books, and whenever they see the hippo one in there, Mrs. Fosco, Mrs. Fosco, look, a hippo. I'm like, yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it, it a million few, times. A few it's different awesome. hippopotamus species have some records. Yeah. But yeah, widest land animal mouth yep. is a pretty great one. I see some, uh, some wide open gapes down here. I like mm -hmm. these. Now, where are the, these look like handmade? Where were these from? Um, I actually think this one might have just been from a tag sale, but it does look handmade. Let's see if there's anything on it. it. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure where that one was from. You got the banks. But this one was just from Disney. When we oh. Went. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Oh, this one came all the way from South Africa. Oh, that's really cool. My husband went to South Africa for a conference for work, and obviously he had to bring me back a hippopotamus because I couldn't go. 
And he also went on safari there and made the guide show them hippopotamuses. And the, and the guide was saying, they're so ugly. And my husband said, no, nope, we have to go see the hippos. I have to get photos for my wife. So they went and they found the hippopotamuses. So that was nice. Guys, get in your last questions here. I mean, we could, like you said, they're all through your house. All of these all have different stories in here, so we could be here all day, but send in your last questions. We're going to try to see as many different ones as we can. Have you been keeping abreast with Fiona? Oh, oh yes, yes, Fiona. <laughs> Fiona, the baby, uh, the princess, baby princess Fiona in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, hopefully I'll get to go meet her sometime. Oh. Yep, yeah, the ba new baby hippo. Uh, that's one part of being being a part of the hippo group online, Hippo Lot of Us. Um, I get updates on hippo information much more rapidly. And I also, it's dangerous being a part of that group because they post things on eBay. Yeah. That, oh, look at this temptation. hippo thing. Look at a lot of temptations <laughs> that you have to resist because, again, I can't buy every hippo I see. Um, but, yeah, I get a lot more hippo news going on. So I, I can represent hippos in Connecticut. <laughs> and I just saw earrings. I just noticed oh, yeah. your, your bling. My hippo <laughs> earrings. <laughs> and my hippo ring. I have a few rings. I have a few necklaces, but I wear the earrings pretty often because they're understated. Yeah, <laughs> they're silver. <laughs> Go with anything. And my sister got me my hippo shirt. It's a little, little snug because we got a baby bump in there. But congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Chip would like to know your first hippo. Oh, uh, let's bring it back. Chip in. just joined us. Yes. Yep. This guy right over here. And you were 10, right? Yep, 10 years old. I just pulled him out of a box. It was like a Noah's Ark um, set of animals my friend was using oh. for a project. I pulled him out. I was like, ooh, he is not cute. <laughs> He's a little wrinkly. But then know. the more you hold him, the more you look at him, he <laughs> is very cute. And I like, um, I don't think you saw some of these towels over here that you said you got as a, as a wedding gift. Yep, my, oh, um, my husband's cousin. On display here. Our cousin Sarah, our cousin Sarah is very crafty, and she made um, these little hippo towels for our, our wedding, and it was a long time ago, but I still have not unwrapped them to use the actual towels. They're just too cute, so we have to keep them together. And oh, and some chains here? Yeah. Yes. This guy's really cute. I often have the hippos on my keys, the hippo keychains, but then they get um, very um, torn up and ratty, so... I don't always have them on my Just a little, another ballerina. Yes. I've been setting aside some of the ballerinas for the, uh, for the new baby's room because um, it's going to be a girl. I'm going to have some hippo ballerinas in there, hopefully. <laughs> my son's room started out as a safari themed because I had hippo, uh, hippo baby quilt back from when I was in high school. Like I started collecting <laughs> that stuff. So for a future baby. And... Um, but now his room is kind of turning into hippos slash baseballs slash nets slash <laughs> octopuses because that's the animal he is starting to like. Oh, so. I don't know. That that could be a new, a new collection. Yeah. I saw there is a record holder for elephants who's in the U.S. and for giraffes who's in Germany. There's one for rhinos, but nobody has it. So anybody out there have a budding rhino collection and you want to apply <laughs> Or, you know, octopus. Yeah. But that's the that's the great thing is that anything can be considered for a record. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Once you get on that site, on the Guinness World Record site, you can get lost looking yes. at, <laughs> looking at um, different collections. I think the one that was the strangest that I found when I first looked was um, airline bags, the bags that they put in case you get sick. Oh, <laughs> air sick bags. Air sick bags. You know, yeah. wow. Somebody had a collection of those, <laughs> but there was no record set for hippos, so I said, well, then I definitely Someone need to them. contact them. <laughs> yes. And like I said, there's, um, in the Hippolotivus group, there's a lot of people who have awesome collections they've posted pictures of, so I would be fine if one of them, uh, you know, took over the the crown <laughs> took the, crown the title the yeah, <laughs> took the title away from me i'm okay with that because um like i said i never set out to have the record but at least now there is a record because yes. hippos are awesome so have you ever touched a hippo no a hippo. is that safe can you touch it yeah okay. well yeah so the hippo lot of this group a lot of them have gone to um like private feedings or mm -hmm. uh, for hippos so they 
have been able to touch hippos, so that's a goal. Yes. <laughs> that's a goal of mine. I don't know if I'll ever get to visit my hippo in Zimbabwe. Probably not, but my goal is to be able to touch a hippo. I've gotten, you know, right next to them on the sure. glass before. <laughs> They're very, very cute up close. <laughs> they are. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast today. Like we were saying, if you're inspired by what you see today, go to GuinnessWorldRecords.com. You can see all the new records um, in the new book as well. If there's something you think you have a collection for that you could be a record holder for, anybody can be a record holder. Anybody can be a record-breaking superhero. So <laughs> find, find what it is for you and go ahead and apply online. And again, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.